Gauges are an important part of any boiler room um, and pressure is especially important when we're dealing with steam pressure like on this deaerator. But due to the nature of gauges, sometimes they can give us incorrect information. This gauge is actually reading about 30% off where it should. What we're seeing on this gauge is six, seven, almost eight PSI. Um, in fact, the pressure on the deaerator is closer to six. So why is it reading off? The reason is also the name of a unit of measurement we frequently use called inches of water column. A gauge ideally would be connected directly to the pressure that it's reading, but that would make the location of this gauge less inconvenient, and it might also expose the gauge to the actual steam in the vessel. So this gauge is installed with tubing from the top connection to the gauge. Because this tubing won't stay in a vacuum, it's going to fill with first steam and then condensate. Those inches of water column add pressure to the gauge. So we're gonna look at how to correct for that or at least identify that amount um, so that we have an accurate understanding of the pressure. First, we're just gonna measure the vertical height from the gauge to the connection point because that's what's gonna be full of water generating this extra pressure. So here we've got 62 inches of water column. Well, what does that mean in terms of PSI on the reading of the gauge? Well, there's a simple conversion. We've got 62 inches of water column between the gauge and the connection point. So we simply divide that by the 28 and that'll give us in PSI how much the gauge is reading off. So we've got approximately 2.2 PSI additional pressure on the gauge that's not actually there. That's phantom uh, water column or additional to the pressure that it's actually perceiving at the top. Some gauges have a feature to adjust for that. If this water leg or reference leg is flooded and we take the pressure off of the vessel, we could actually adjust this screw which would rotate the pointer back to zero. So that's referred to as a zero adjustment. So from then on, the gauge will accurately read what's in the vessel. Well, we looked at the mathematical way to make this adjustment. Um, if we want to physically see what the gauge reading would be at zero PSI on the tank, all we have to do is remove pressure from the tank and look at that reading. You may not want to do that in your boiler room when the boiler room's operating, but on startup or shutdown, you may have the opportunity to look at that reading and you may even be able to make an adjustment on the gauge uh, for future reference. So now we know by measuring the connection to the process and using a little math, we can make necessary adjustments to really understand uh, what's going on in our deaerator. Well, aren't you lucky? You got Jude two times in a row here on the Boiling Point. Just appreciate him sharing his knowledge. Really appreciate you guys coming to our booth at Ashray. Actually got to see the booth, get a t-shirt, and also talk a little bit about the videos that we actually do with a lot of compliments, and we appreciate that. Speaking of the videos, go out, subscribe to that YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and maybe even follow us on Twitter, and also, Share a video for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.